Okay, we're live. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna do my invite spam real quickly here. Even though know, it doesn't really do anything. All right, let's say hello to everyone who's here. Um, hello, Meg, FD, Gizmo, and Bastion. How's everybody doing? Yes, this is a blind playthrough of this game. I've, uh, I guess I could say I kind of played this, and then I stopped playing it. So, uh, I don't really remember anything in this game. So I restarted the game, deleted my f old file. So, yeah. It's been a while since I've last touched this game. So, uh, yeah. I don't really remember anything about this game. So this should be interesting. So I can te technically say it is a blind playthrough. And hello, Eevee. How's it going? Um, I'm not sure how uh, my uh, screen looks. I'm going to actually uh, adjust it. You might see X split here for a second. Alright. Just going to adjust my layout here. Um, let's go 15. Alright, that, that looks better. Alright. That looks a lot better. Okay. Let's put that back there. And alright. Yes, I love how Rockstar handles their games. They're very, how you say, movie-like. And this one is pretty movie-like. If you thought Rock, uh, I mean, uh, Red Dead Redemption was pretty movie-like, this one is even more like a movie. I mean, this is as good as a movie as it gets with this game. <laughs> so alright, without further ado, let's uh, start the game. Alright, get my hard drive here. I don't have any save data. Just make me a new one. Or DLC. I'll probably download that. So uh, let's see here. I guess that's all you can do. Is there like any uh, options? No, there isn't. Alright, I might have to put um, subtitles afterwards. After the first cutscene and such. But anyways, without further ado, let's begin. Hey, hey. New law. And hello, FD. How's it going? You're playing Chrono Trigger? Nice. Here we go. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire world. The city of pioneers. Hollywood land. <laughs> A city of dreamers. A city of undercurrents. Where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries. That will stretch as far as the eye can see. Oh man. <laughs> That's all I can say. I got goosebumps already. 
upon need reflection. To deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for, and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Yay! Now I can put up the freaking subtitles. Hooray! Alright, there we go. And, let's get back to the action. And I will drive through the entire playthrough. Go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. There's the, uh, there we are. Right here. 10, 10 p.m. Oh my. What happened here? Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gas. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. Yes. Hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. Man, the face animations in this game? This Crazy. Is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. That is true. <laughs> now, if I remember, um, this game had uh, certain cameras. Like, this game has been acted out. And this is like the first game Look you could say junk. that was acted out. Maybe. No. This game legitimately is pretty much an acting performance. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. Yes, we're looking at trash, yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is any use to us. No, doesn't look like it. But yes, this playthrough. What have you got, Felt? Anything? I'm gonna say, you guys can help me out on it. Because whatever goes on in the playthrough, like if we're ever interrogating somebody, you guys get to help out, and we'll choose whatever gets the most votes. Ooh, we'll look at this newspaper. Dr. Fontaine, could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. Dang, I thought it was Sean Cooper. Me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hand. Chill. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine. He's so far away. It's like he's wandering around. We went through a lot together. Yes, Doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Shelton. And your penance, or your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. 
Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. What's in this bottle? Anything in this? Do, do, do. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. All right, there's nothing in in the bottles. All right, let's take a look. Ooh, what do we have here? Can I run? That's about it. I can jog. There's blood. Uh oh, what happened here? And welcome back, Evie. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. That bloody mess. All right. Let's see. Anything in the back here? Ooh. What's that? <gasps> a gun mark. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? Reflect. Uh, I don't know. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right. Don't hurt yourself. So what did he do? <laughs> Put his gun through the window? <laughs> That's the best way. He pretty much hand drew a reflection of his uh, gun. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. All right. Building Let's see here. Vacant. I don't want to I... wait around all night oh. for the super to let us in. Is there a way up from the outside? Yes, it's called a pipe. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Haha! -ha, there's a gun. It's the actual gun. Well, I, I guess you're right. Smith and Wesson, serial S seven one eight nine three. All right. Let's see anything else in here? Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Ah, so he's trying to assassinate him from atop. Oh, I see how it's reflected. We should okay. follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. All right, I see how he, uh, how it was reflected because right here. Okay, that makes sense. Smith wasn't. That's a damn good pistol. It is indeed. It is. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Then let's go there. <laughs> Maybe there's a more uh, clues around here. Anything over here? A hobo's home is here. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Let's go this way. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Yeah, Ralph. <laughs> Stop worrying. All right, anyways, let's keep going this way. Actually, let's run. It takes too while to walk in this game, unlike Red Dead. All right, I think we got everything. Don't think there is anything there. All right, let's go in here. And hello, chain. Yes, I did. All right, the gun store. Uh, set his destination, and let's go there. Ew. Oh boy, oh boy. Get out of the way! Alright. <laughs> oh god, I sh shouldn't look at the chat while this, uh... What the hell's going on here? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Clicking on the heels. Wait, there were heels? I didn't even notice them. Oh god! <laughs> well, the god first fail of driving begins. <laughs> there it was. 
get out of the damn way. <laughs> I didn't even see the heels on the ground. Actually. Actually, can I go back? Hold on. It's gotta be a way to set your destination. Okay, cool. Let's go back up here first. If I can. Can I? No. I guess you can't go back. Okay, never mind. That sucks. Once you go, that's like, that's it. That's, that's a shame. Wait. A lake of the police officers? I thought there was actually heels on the um, actual shoes laying on the ground. Oh, you love me? Oh, okay, okay. I see what you mean now. Wait, stop. Uh, let's uh, get around this guy. Yeah. Oh, there's the gun store. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I read that wrong. You can blame the traffic. All right, anyways, let's go inside. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? You're my guest. This is about something bad, right? Well, yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Model 27. That's the address. Okay. Items on this side. Okay, we got one there. And... I guess that's the only one. Right here. Let's see. Uh, or not? Oh, there's one. Right here. I found it. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Just bash it. Why aren't you working? God damn it! <laughs> Alright, anyways. Let's move on. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. But how's it going, NQ? Alright. We want to go to the apartment now. Alright. Um, is there like a map you can look at? Okay, right here. Just like in Red Dead. Okay, so it doesn't give you like an arrow though, like uh, or a line, like on Red Dead. It's just like go there. Okay. Um. All right, let's go here. All right here. Whoa. Okay. You got a horn in this game? Oh, you don't get horns, like in Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> That'd be awesome. And hello, Nano. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. Two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. I hope I'm going the right way. I don't think I am. Eh, longer way the better. Get out of the way! You were in my way. Let's take this way. This seems about right. Take in the trail. The train track and whoa! I broke the glass. You want me to keep tabs on the path of destruction you're creating? Sure. That's uh, number three. <laughs> Alright, um. Oh, oh. Can I go through here? I can. Hooray! 
All right. Good. Oh yeah, that was totally uh, how you say, Dukes of Hazard. See that airtime? That was awesome. All right. We're almost there. Yeah, shortcuts for the win. <laughs> oh, hold on a sec. I thought that there was nothing there. Damn it. All right. <laughs> oh, and there goes the cap card. One second. Hello, Dave. How's it going? All right. Back on. Um. There we go. Gotta go this way. Um. Uh, gotta back it up here. Do 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 do. Back it up. Alright. Okay. Now we're going the right way. Kind of. Alright. Here we are. Uh oh. Huh. Are you Asian? No, I'm not. <laughs> I was just driving redneck style right there. Anyways. Here we are. We are at the apartment at 11 p.m. How do you explain this driving? Well, if you take Dukes of Hazard and uh, the Fonz, put them together, that's what you got right there. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Do I knock on the door? Or I just go right in? All right, he's room two. Schroeder, apartment two, or apartment two, whatever. Did you start? Yeah, this is just the start. This is the first uh, mission. All right, three, four. Oh, it's on this side. Okay, here it is. Police, open up. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith and Wesson Model 27. Nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh! That's it. Very. Mm. Oh, yeah! Oh, what's up? Oh, hey, Br Bryson, how's it going? Oh, oh yeah, right here. Headshot. Come on. Oh, grapple. Here we go. Oh, 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 yeah, right here, right here. You want it? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, through the chair. That's what I'm talking about. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Yeah. <laughs> Ralph, I'm gonna take a look around. Hey, I didn't lose my hat. Isn't that an achievement in this game not to lose your hat? Let's see here. Oh, I guess it isn't. Never mind. <laughs> Whatever. What's in here? Get that guy. Oh, what do we have here? Mmm. names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation, or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner, and leave the book where you found it. Oh. Officer Phelps, that's 1247. Request Oh, okay. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played this. Well, I never really beat it though, so this time I'm beating it. And this game is three discs long. It's a big game. That's crazy. Yep, for the 360. You dumb fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper! Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me! 
Fuck you! You should oh, that's the nice. I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for. I know why you're here, ass wipe. I'm oh. a bad day, private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. Didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All That's three of you nice. on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Nikki, huh? Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. I think it's only one disc for the PS3 because of the Blu-ray. It's probably the reason why. I believe. I may be wrong for that. But, yeah. Oh, I'm dead. I dress. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight. Solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end. All units, a 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identified, code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised, suspects are armed and dangerous. Armed and dangerous. Roger KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Oh, here we go. Everyone out of the goddamn way. Get out of the damn way! Ew. Oh! What a drift! Not really though, but that was sick. Make it quick, you guys! The cops are here. We gotta move it. Oh shit! Uh-oh. Hey uh You are dead. Alright, where is this next guy? Where is he at? Can I get off? Okay, here we go. Where are you? Where are you? Oh! That totally missed. Try for the front door, keep your goddamn head down. Use the No. I like to be in the open. And hello. Peach and Kippy. Backup will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance. Not a fucking chance, Copper. <laughs> Not a fucking chance. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's see. And oh, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, this is like. The 1940s, 1950s, something like that. Oh, he did. That's it. We got them all. I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. All right, let's go inside. <laughs> or not. Senator Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for him, well, I would have known not to cover. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. You're the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future. Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future?
foreshadowing. What's next? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even have to enter the bank. Warrants outstanding. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped her. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off oh. in the car. Hello, Mickey. How's it going? Oh, Stop. hold on. LAPD. Gonna get you. You ass much. Get over here. Um, how do I get over it? Okay, just gotta run. Oh, garbage! Alright. Those are eating garbage. The trucks are trying to take me out. Alright, here we go. And I think all the cases are based on real cases that happened, too. I may be wrong on that. Get over here! Get your ass over here! <laughs> get over her! Oh, you got nowhere to go. Never mind. Stay the hell away from me. No, you got ra- Oh! Get kicked in the face! You gotta be kidding! You fucking asked for it! What? No, I did. Come on, you! Mm. Climb! Oh, he's doing parkour! Me too! Parkour! I've done my time! Alright. It's over, Bowers! Here we go. Here we go. 360 flip. Whee! Oh. Well, that was kind of like it. <laughs> Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Where are you going? Oh, clothesline. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Oh, you want to fight? Oh, oh. Oh, come here. Oh. Come here. Oh. To the ground. Yeah. What's up? Sure you can Yeah. What are you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Yeah. No. Not really. <laughs> Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership, Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Dun-dun-dun. <laughs> but yeah, this game does have nudity in it. As long as I put it down 18 plus, it's all good. Bye, I'll bet well. Well. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as a shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. <gasps> Shots have been fired! Uh-oh. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. No shit! Okay, 
Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Well, these first few, uh, cases are pretty quick. Everybody That's why. Back. Let us do our job. When you first start, they're pretty daylight. quick. Crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Let's see how. What's in the gut in here? Mm. I see. C. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Interesting. <laughs> In order to... Oh yeah! Bit Trip Runner 2 came out, that's right. How is it? What do I got here? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. 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 Alright. Let's see here. Um, how about here? Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Do you like, um, ice cream? Well, I'm not helping all right, you. Alright, alright, yes. You're the dead person. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I know he was dead. <laughs> alright, let's see here. Anything in here? All right, no, nothing there. That was funny though. <laughs> Do you like ice cream? Nope. I know. All right, all right, all right, all right. He's dead. I guess that's all he's got. Is that? Unless Can you look any closer? No, you can't. All right. So I guess. Uh. That's it. I guess. Um, take a look at the garbage cans. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, <gasps> dun dun dun! Oh, no, zoom in. Come on. There you go, cameraman. FN Browning, serial number zero one one three eight. I need to run it by a gun store. Eagle the gun store's a couple blocks from here. Ooh, got a gun store too. Alright. Let's see if there's anything else. Um Can I talk to anybody here? Oh yeah, I can. You be working? Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. You wanna take mm. a while now? We just can wait, Cole. We've got Alright. So we gotta go talk to her inside. Alright. Just make sure there's anything else out here. Then I'll go inside. See if anybody else has anything to say. I guess not. Alright, let's go inside then. <clears throat> Hello, Cougar. How's it going? Alright. Now, I like the artwork in this game. Can I, can I help you, sir? This game is pretty beautiful. I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. All right. Oh, we get to intimidate her. Or ask her some questions. Interrogating time. Let's do it. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and 
saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Alright, if you think the witness is lying, you have proof supply to accuse a witness of lying. If you need to. Alright. Press Y to accuse the witness of lying. Alright. Will do. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Because. Um, what was it? Wouldn't be the gun. It'd be either the shooting or the lawyer vulture. Yeah, it would be this. They're pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Well, I don't doubt it'd be painful. <laughs> he kind of got shot. Which jewelry store? Hartfield. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. If you know some witness is lying, but you lack proof, put doubt. Okay. So X is the doubt. Alright. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. Racist! It's fault if he has nice things. Alright, details of shooting. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many. And they were so loud. That's truth? I don't think so. <laughs> that face doesn't look like you're telling the truth. That looks like you're like lying. It's like, oh, I know how many there are, but I'm just not going to tell you. Hmm. Pie sounds about nice. Hmm. Maybe ice cream. No. I was kidding. It was truth. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my, my, never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. It's just game is racist. Probably even more, I would say. <laughs> Anyways, see if there's anything over here. Just some shoes. Hmm. Doesn't look like anything. Alright. Objection! Indeed. Yeah, it is the 1940s, 1950s. So, it is kinda racist. <laughs> Uh, anything over here? Nope. How about in the back here? Eh, yeah, nothing. Alright. Let's move on then. This is America in the 40s and 50s. 
Of course it's racist. And the murder. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Alright. The jewelry store. So let's head on to the car. Merka. Hey! Don't honk at me. I am the law, sir. Alright. So we need to go to the jewelry store here. Probably not. I don't think Canada was that racist. <laughs> Alright, uh... Oh, Jesus! I'm sorry, woman. But again, it's against the law to get in front of a policeman's car. So, that's her fault. Alright, let's move on this way. Baby boomers would love this game. <laughs> Hi! That's illegal to get in front of me like that. <laughs> right out, join down all the hot dog stands. Oh, you get cash for that? That's crazy. Oh! Oh, uh, um, excuse me. Um, excuse me. Oh, he got a hit and run. That guy. That guy. I was gonna write him a ticket, but nope. He hits and runs. What an asshole. Alright, let's go over here. <laughs> yeah, I play by my own rules. 2.36 p.m. No, no, G. This ain't nothing like GTA, foo. What are you talking about, sucker? I mean, hello, Vinny. Right, let's go inside. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. All right. Oh, he's running for it. Bitch. Go, Cole, go. I'm going. Let's get him. He's making a run for it. We're gonna go after him. Excuse me, Mr. Sir. You are under arrest. Get back here. You get over here. Oh, I'm in Denny's now. Sorry. Enjoy your pancakes. Bus. All right, let's go this way. Keep running. Oh man, goodness. Get over here. Mm. Mm. Too late, Kalu. Get over here. You're gonna get it. Come on. Come on. You're gonna get it, mister. Oh. Parkour. Alright. Come here. I'm gonna tackle you. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's it. You're making it harder than it needs to be. And this is why you don't use your gun. Alright. You gotta tackle him. <laughs> Hello, Rock'em Sock'em. How's it going? This game is pretty awesome. I am playing it for the first time. Kind of. Not really, though. But I had never beaten this game. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie Dude, down. good, awesome. I'll buzz him for you. No, you won't. You're gonna run for it. I knew it. I'm going. Do -do -do -do. He's throwing boxes at me. What the hell? All right. Hello, get back here. Get over here. Enjoy your pancakes once again, and your waffles. All right, let's go this way. Come on. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to come after you. Too late, Kalu. I'm gonna get you. Oh. Oh, haymakers. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> the case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. 
The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. He'll actually stop. The case you never, ever discuss. I'll try that next time. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Hello, Secret. Welcome to the channel. How's it going? Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Hmm. It didn't have anything to do with you. All right. So what do you guys think? Is it truth, doubt, or lie? <laughs> it's the Dick Tracy remake. No! <laughs> no, it is not. Scaly Triangle. Mm. Let's take a look at my notebook real quickly here. Shooting. Got that. The gun. Her. And that. That face. <laughs> Watch out for snipers on the roof. Uh, I'm going to say he is lying. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Yeah, I can. You have the gun. You got what? nothing, boy chick. You're gonna be laughed right out of court. I've just gotta keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you wanna keep making a schmuck of yourself. Then I will try it again. You disappoint me, Colfer. You disappoint me! Get in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Fine. Wow, 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 wow. It's, okay, we don't need to see that again. All right. Blah, blah, blah. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Hmm. You're checking it for me? <laughs> I know he's lying. I can tell by the face. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Okay, so it's not the gun. I assume it's either that one. Yeah, it's most likely... It's gonna be this one, I'd say.
Hold on, let me see for a second. Looks like I was mistaken. Yeah, it would be lie. I know for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say this one. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're you're counting on the girl. You think her testimony is gonna stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. All right, positive. Uh oh. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalou. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalou. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalou? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say, uh, doped on this one. Who got the ring? Left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher. You and that stump Gage. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Yeah, you're going to jail. <laughs> Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Well, thank you. Back to your Did on my first try. Oil. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. <gasps> We're styled and profiled. <laughs> now the real game begins. Look at that. All checks. That's how it's done. <laughs> Alright. Patrol has been completed. And hello, Hunt. How's it going? I drive us, eight. Yeah. Oh man, look at us. We're styling and profile. Got a suit and everything. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, sir. Shh, quiet, everybody. 
Mr. Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I'm partnering Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. All righty. <laughs> hey, I gave his wife a well, I, I did play, like, early levels of this game. I'd never beaten it before, so technically this is still kind of like a first playthrough of it. Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. And yes, there is infinity. It's on my Twitter. And I'm doing not too bad, Hunt. Thanks for asking. <laughs> and lifted what a curse. What Chris is talking about, Pichu? All right, let's go in there. Nice little vehicle. You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse I'll direct. All right, let's go. All units of 459 just occurred at six and seven. Any unit to handle, code two, identify. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded. Shipped back home. Did a year on the beat. Now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No, you were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready, finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah, now I get it. Unfit for service. Fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. Take it easy, Phelps. I'd rather get what there. What the hell is that? <laughs> he came out of nowhere. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. The Sunday highlights? What do you mean, the Mario Kart ones? I broke him. <laughs> All right. Yes. Oh yeah, my Mario Kart victory on last Sunday. That was awesome. I won again in Mario Kart. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saras. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. 11K, go ahead, KGPL. 11K, a 459 suspect just left 6th and Saras. The suspect is a male Caucasian, believed to still be in the area. Code 2. I'll get him. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. There he is. He's lurking up there. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. Oh, he's getting away. Where are you going? Oh, there he is. Come here. Get out of the way. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. Well, thank you, sir. Where is he? Oh, 
He's shooting. All right, come here. <laughs> Is mayonnaise an instrument? It can be. I guess if you want to. <laughs> Let's negotiate. I knew you would do something like that. Put the weapon down now. Wait, what? <laughs> Boom! Right there. I did it. <laughs> right in the head. Red Dead has taught me well. <laughs> it indeed can be, Pichu. Are you making a Spongebob reference? Oh. <laughs> Alright. Aha! Five hidden vehicles. Alright, let's head to the real case now. Do -do 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 -do. Can I put my sirens on? Yeah! Everyone get out of the damn way! Eels. Get out of the damn way! <laughs> Move! Move! I am the law! Well, I guess it's a red light. So I guess it makes sense. Move! Gosh darn it! That's it. Oh there, oh, there it is. Why aren't you moving? What the hell? You have a green light. Gosh darn it. Oh, okay. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Hot dog. Stands a real nemesis. To to work, the detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. Yeah, I do have a lot of mods. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. Alright, let's go get him. I like how he went for a running motion when I was just about to walk. <laughs> the investigation music. Oh my. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps. Traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car. Probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. All right. So now we will look around, I guess. Before we do anything. I'm gonna investigate. Doesn't give me anything to go on. All right. I'll be a lot in the car. I would say. Let's take a look at that. Oh my, that's bloody. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> All right. What is he made of? Cherry? Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, we got a pipe. Nope. Nope. Or a wrench, whatever. Yeah, I think he blew up. I think it was the, um... Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? A pig? What in the heck? Oh, <gasps> he murdered babe. Dun-dun-dun. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in here. Doc, Detective Phelps. 
What have we got? A lot of blood for a blood course injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. There is nothing in the trunk of the car. Is there actually anything on this side? Nope, same thing. Just a lot of cherry Kool-Aid. Alright, what have we got in this bag? Nothing, I guess. Anything in the front? No. We got this. We got glasses. <laughs> That's Kool-Aid, yes. The Kool-Aid man got killed. And hello, Pokeman. How's it going? Stencil glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Hmm. Interesting. And what do we got in this? Is this his wallet? Let's see here. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? I don't know. All right. Take a look at this picture. Happier times, I guess. Yep. Happy times. Happy times. Alright. I think that's everything in there. I shall take a look one more time here. Just make sure I don't miss anything. Alright, looks like that's it. Okay. Let's go over here. See if there's anything around here. Doesn't look like it. Alright. Um... I feel like there's more around here, too. Um... What's he looking at there? Oh, the, uh, cigarettes. But I already looked at that. I don't want to use those, at least yet. A bloodied wrench somewhere. You'd think it'd be, like, in the garbage cans here. But, there isn't. Oh, wait, what's over here? I found something here. There it is. There you are. It's a pipe. Brand name might give us something to go on. Alright. What is this, a Mario murder? What did what Mario and Luigi go and murder someone? What the hell? <laughs> Where's my nickel? You guys, take your time. No freight rolling through here till we're done. And we're still okay. punching the clock. Alright. That seems legit. <laughs> I can put on a commercial over the naked vice. My channel doesn't have commercials, so it doesn't work. Sadly. But it doesn't matter, though. It is fine to stream this game with the nudity. All right, let's interrogate this guy. This scene is a mess. Could have been a dozen different crimes committed down here with all the bows hopping freights. That's not who I wanted to talk to. There we go. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. That's what a good person does. All right. Purpose at sea. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. It's on, uh, after this cast. Pete, Pokemon. All right, uh, that's a very serious face. So I'm going to say truth. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Alright, knowledge of Adrian Black. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? 
No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. That again is another Sir's face. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regularly, so it kind of stood out. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Mmm. <laughs> I like his face maybe he's like, mmm. But yeah, that's not a live face. That is indeed a dope face. That does look like dope. So I'm gonna go with dope here. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. So someone stole his money. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Once again, <laughs> that's another Sir's face. So I'm gonna say truth. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Look dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. All right. Let's move on. Oh, yeah, no problem, Pokemon. Are you still uh, doing the tournament this weekend? <laughs> I have no idea. All right, which card's ours? Oh, yeah, it's this one. All right, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Oh, you are still? Okay, cool. I'll definitely come check it out. All right. Tell our residents. Oh! Any <laughs> Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. A couple blocks north of Central Station. So, what do we tell the wife? Play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. Well. Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. Nah, not this time. But why leave the car? Well, obviously someone got a little heavy handed. It's the wrong way around. Well, how so, genius? Where is Aiden? Genius! If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car, and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, not the car. You got something there, Thomas. Doesn't add up. No. Nope. Not at all. Do 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 do. Driving so fast. Driving so fast. Did you read about the guy on the crossing yesterday? No, oh, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy's driving along and his oil light comes on. He stops the car and gets out. He pops the hood and he's on a rail crossing. Oh, you got it. He got Sorry, a under there checking the oil and the Southern Pacific Freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. The car came to a rest more than a mile down the track. <laughs> what a pointless waste of life. You'll get plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity working traffic with those. And who needs a second amendment when we'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? What time are you playing tomorrow? If it's a kidnapping, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, Phelps. Evidence will only get you so far. You ask me, the whole thing feels hinky as hell. What I wouldn't give to have your powers of intuition. Don't worry, kid. Keep watching the master and you'll get there one day. Oh, these train cars. Get in the way. <laughs> All the time. Two, three. Hopefully if I'm awake, I'll play, but I don't know if I'll be up though. <laughs> I 
the trolley cars are trolling. Yeah, the, the traffic in this game is so trolly. It's unbelievable, bro. <laughs> You'll see it later on, too, during missions. I mean, there's some later on in this mission. Look at that guy! He almost came after me. There's a good uh, example of it right there. 11.58 a.m. I didn't see your message, Dave. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. Okay. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. All right. Have a good look around. There's gotta be so don't worry, Meg. I forget, too, so... <laughs> uh, everyone keeps making new ones, so I easily forget. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's. Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Drugs! I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. Occasions that made you laugh. Times that made you smile. Indeed, that is some good water. <laughs> All right, put that down. Let's see what we got here. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Hmm. Let's investigate a little more. Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. All right. What did I miss? Uh, I, uh, arrested the first guy. That's it. So this is just a new, uh, mission. But other than that, not too much. Alright, let's see here. There was something here. What we got here? Wall text for the win. Indeed. Anything in here? Nope. I think there was... If I remember when I first played this mission, there was a, a picture that had something in it. Was it this one? Oh, actually, hold on. First, case. This must be Adrian. Yep. 
Fenzel. So the glasses are a match. Indeed. Interesting. Alright. I think it was this picture that had it. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? That's a good question. Aha! To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. Who is this Nicole? Hmm. Interesting. All right. We got here. Ooh, we got more of these. Same amount used, but that's not really a clue. Yet now I'm a detective. I've been a. Uh... A used ticket to Seattle and a promoted. suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Hmm. Someone wants a GTFO. That's gonna come into play. Let's see here. Anything in the kitchen here? And welcome back, uh, Pokey. Is that all that's here? It's more of these, again. Someone was cheating. Indeed. Someone's been naughty. <laughs> Dude, what do you got here? What's this? This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Yep. And what do we got here? It's the heater or gas water here. Okay. Side or in the back here. There's the average uh, 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 ad address at the bottom there. I'm surprised they don't uh, put that as a clue. Interesting. All right. Um, let's see if there's anything in the uh, here. Oxy. Probably nothing. Yeah. Don't think that's gonna do anything. How about this? Doesn't tell me anything. Nope. Okay. Uh. I assume nothing's in there. Anything in there? Nope. Alright, let's, uh. Take a look outside. Hope they got everything. Now, she said it was right outside the kitchen. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's just flowers. Okay. So right here. Here it is. No use leaving the thing half finished. Yep, let's fix it. Let's play Bob the Builder. Uh. There. Goes right here. Oh, okay. I can't no, that right. can't be right. No, that's not right. Uh, this one right here. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yes, this was before fingerprinting. Indeed. Uh. No, that won't work. There we go. That's what I meant to do. And then this one goes here. So that means. Did use the pipe. pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Uh-oh. <laughs> that explains a lot. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Anything over here? I would assume there was there would be nothing. Oh. Cap card went off. One second. There we go. Alright. 
but yes, that explains a lot right there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, do you got anything? I'll ask him if he knows anything else. I'm all right now, detectives. Good. Advice? Get a statement from Mrs. Black, but go easy on her. She's had a rough day. All right. We will ask her questions. Can I sit down? Okay, here we go. Let's do this. All right. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. That's either telling me it's either dope or truth. Because she is shaking her head. And she looks like she has some dope. But again, it does look like it's truth. Truth? Alright, I'll go with, uh... With, uh... Truth? What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. All right. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. That again looks like it's truth. Again. That's the same face she made last time. So... I'm gonna say... That's true again. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently... He's been away in Seattle a lot on business. And don't be afraid, chat. You can do what uh, uh, Meg and Mickey are doing. You can play along, say what you think is correct. Location of Agent Black. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Hmm. That's another true. She's making the same face again. So yeah, that's easily truth again. So nothing out of the usual, then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about 7. Alright, the glasses. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. So yeah, she tells the truth there. That's an easy one. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Alright. Photograph signed Nicole. Ooh. We're gonna get some. 